in the shipyard, in the machine shops, and small factories. The thing about traditional welding, it's hot, it's loud. Breathing in that smoke is awful. And acid passivation is really nasty. You wind up having to grind off half the work you just put down in order to complete the job. The act of laser welding, from training time to parts out the door. The TIG guys tell me you just cut down a five hour production time to half an hour. It's about doing the same thing 10 times as fast. Working with the Theo MA1 should supersede stick welding when it comes to training new welders because you can train new welders on so many different alloys with this machine. The infrastructure of today demands an influx of skilled welders simply don't exist in the current workforce. With MA1, you can expect consistent results developed by your operators in two weeks or less. When you switch over to the Theo MA1, you're cutting down so much production time. If you can get that one laser weld bead over the joint and seal it, you go from having to spend 5, 10, 20 minutes to quality welds in 30 seconds. It's the amount of post-process time that you save with this process. That's where the real value comes in. It's air-cooled, which makes it really lightweight, and you don't need super-duper technical abilities. All you have to do is play with the drop-down menu and perhaps adjust your defocus. That's really all the operator's got to worry about. At the end of the day, when we're running a business, every little bit to save money helps. So when you consider saving on training time, saving on consumables, saving on materials, you save energy. Overall post-process time, it even includes a wire feeder, plus certified quality and safety. When you add all these things together, you're saving money. You do save time.